Signal window filter. One more row. Um, yes, this machine was built to be used something. Observe something, not just anything like a camera, something specific. Its memory still contains the last thing it saw. Okay, that's not great. Read values from in. Write the sum of... Oh, we're back to not, not graphic stuff. Okay. Digital trauma. Yeah, something's going on with that. Write the sum of the last three values to out. Dot three. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, read values from in, write the sum of the last three values to out.3 and the sum of the last five values to out.5, assume prior in values are zero. I'm, what? Okay, so we do 11 plus zero plus zero plus zero is 11. Um, 77 plus 11. Oh, wait, is this Fibonacci sequence? This feels like this is Fibonacci. Kind, yeah, it, it kind of, right? Because like a one plus two, oh, it's instead of the last two, it's the last three. So it's like Fibonacci adjacent. Um, okay, so, yeah, last three and last five. Hmm, okay, so, we have our stack, so we can use the stack for three and the stack for five. Okay, how do I want to do this? Um, I want to take in... Okay, so you're going to get an 11, and I... Okay, we need to assume that... Uh, the, we have to assume that the last five... Okay, that's fun. I wonder if I just want to throw in like three, just like have something that throws in three and like five into here. Uh, like how, how weird would it be if I just say, um, and then we just um, move zero up. Uh, I want to do on threes for it. Three for you, and then five for you, right? So I want to initialize you with threes and fives, then just like then I can just pretend that it's already there. So I do uh three for you. I probably want an in it, which we're gonna set move three to ACC. Uh, move zero up. Move zero down. Sub, uh, sub one. If you're equal to zero, jump to next. Otherwise, jump to start. Um, for start, for next, I want to move two to ACC, move zero down. Oh, um, we're going to final loop. Move zero down. Sub one. J E Z. Loop.
and then I want a null operation that just does nothing, right? So if you get if you get to here, then I want a nothing jump to nothing. It's so like you just infinite loop there and don't do anything. So if I run you, I get three in here and I get four in here. So I want three more. No, that didn't work. I got I got the correct three that I expected at the top, and I only got four down here. So um, move three to ACC, move four to ACC. What? Why is that the same thing? Um, jump to next. You're equal to okay. Hold on. What's what's going on? Okay, so we're going to move four to AC. Okay, so we got three in here. Uh, move four to ECC, and then we're going to move zero down. Sub one. If we're equal to zero. Oh, I did this backwards. If we're equal to zero, um, if we're greater than zero. Loop. So now, now I'll have too many in there. Yeah, so now I want to go back to two. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so now I've initialized this. I've initialized our stack, so we have uh, three and and five in here. Okay, I don't know if this is a good idea or not. This uh, th this might be a terrible idea. Um, okay, so then. I want to um, welcome to the past, young man. Uh, OK, so now I want to take each number in, and I want to sum the last three digits and then the last five digits. So I want to take three out. And put them in here and then add it to it. If I remove them from here, they're gone though, and I need to put in two of them back. Oh, this is gonna be, wait a second. How, how is this gonna work? Because, okay, so if I take 11 out of here, we move 11 over here and I say, okay, give me three of yours out, and that removes the three threes three zeros and then i want to put two of the zeros back in plus the 11. oh no Two, okay, so two of the, we add, we add, we add, they're all gone, and I need to put two of them back. Do I really care about them? Because adding, adding is, it doesn't matter, right? I don't need to actually keep all three of them in here. Keep two running sums and subtract the head of the list after every iteration. I subtract the um, the last one that I did, right? And then I can just put that back here again. So if I, let's say I move 
up right. So here's 11 coming into here. And I want to maybe um, let's move. Oh, uh, ACC, ACC right, ACC down. No need to push back to the list. Keep two running sums and subtract off the head of the list after every iteration. Wait, wait, so keep two running sums and subtract off the head. Um, not sure I understand. Uh, I'm trying to visualize like what that math looks like, and that's that's where I'm. The list will just be the entries. The entries, like the accumulated sum so far, of like what what they are essentially. So like I just throw I just throw eleven in here, and eleven in here. I guess I don't understand that. Um, don't don't I want to take this and then add all three from here? So wait, 1177, then pop it off when you subtract from your sum. Pop 77 off? Totally understand if you're on your phone. Uh, that 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 writing technical stuff on a phone sucks. Sorry about that. Um, okay, so we have zero 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 in here, but that may not be the right way to go. Like maybe maybe all this is incorrect, and we just start with here. No, yeah, it's a stack. It's not a queue. It's not a queue. So I can't I can't just like pull it up that way. Um so if I if we start with okay, so we start with zero zero zero, we then take left, so we um move left to ACC. We have you here. I want to add the previous three and then move you in here. Oh, and let's imagine that the previous three was just zero, right? So what if I just say move um, add right was the previous three was zero. And I want to store you back again. So then we move ACC right to restore you. And now I have the new one, and so we can just move down, move ACC down. Move up, left. Move right, down, move up, down. Then you are, I just want to move zero up, move zero down, just to make sure there's one of them in here. Uh, I want to I don't even know if I need a stack at all. Uh, I want to then do our infinite loop jump to loop. Two stacks can be converted to a queue. Oh. 
I don't think I've done that before. Okay, wait. So if I have a stack, if I add something to a stack, if I add five things to a stack and then move it out, oh, right, that, that reverses the stack, which turns it into a queue. Do I, okay, so hold on. If I put in, I have to put in the first initial five zeros then still, right? So in this case, we just take what's coming in and I throw them into the stack. Oh, another another break. Um, all right, uh, I'm going to stretch for just a, a minute. I will be back in one minute, and then then I'll continue on with this. So I'll I'll be right back. All right, super fast. Um, we can do a queue. Okay, you got to drop. Um, thank you, um, thank you, Kevin, for hanging out. Also, thank you for um, for getting the membership too. And have a great rest of your uh, Wednesday. Okay, so um, let's reset this. If I just do something really simple, like move up, right. We throw these into a queue, and then I want to move up. Okay, let's let's start by just sort of seeing how these go in. So these should be in reverse order, right? So we have eleven at the top. So 11, which then goes down here. Uh, no, so I didn't, I didn't reverse it. So I need to because when I get them out, 51 is going to be out, right? So then I say move right, left, move. Um, move right down. Let's say that. That is in the same order that I got this, right? So I got eleven. Now I can't. I can't like query this to say, "Hey, stack, how many do you have?" That doesn't that doesn't seem to to work right. But what I could potentially do here is what if I say um add left add left add left move acc left Add left, add left, move ACC down. And then we continue on with that. Oh, then I want to, let's see. Oh, that's going to be weird. This is not going to work. Because then we're going to get the wrong number right away. Oh, and I'm adding left. This should be right. We're ignoring the zeros, though. I 
Okay, you do get move left. Yeah, so I got the wrong one because I'm I am adding the previous three, right? So eleven seventy seven is eighty eight plus seventeen ninety one oh five. Yeah, okay. So I am adding the previous five, but I'm ignoring okay. So then what if I do that? What if I do this thing where we start where I say um, for in it I want to move three zero I want to move five zeros into here so uh, move zero right uh, I want to add one and a sub five um, This is going to be add five. Oh, no, this is not going to work. Because um, there's no if statement for this. Oh, we start with, with five. How about that? Um, Uh, this is going to be move five um, ACC. So then we have our in it. We move zero right. We sub one. We jump if equal. We jump if greater than zero back to in it. Otherwise, we now start our infinite loop. where we're going to move left to right forever and jump to loop. So if I do that, close, and by close I mean not at all. So I um, I do need, oh, I need to reset. I need to reset this for some reason. Because I'm just infinitely growing. And that's that's not right. So that gives me... How do I not infinitely grow with this? Also, is this going to properly give the... Hmm. So that, that moves it down and just starts the adding of the previous zeros, but that's not correct either. Oh, and we can move Zilby out of the way again. I want to, this is, I don't think, th this is too simple, I think. Um, I also don't think this, I, I don't think I'm even close to right on any of this. I think, I think all of this is wrong. Uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. My brain is starting to uh, to have trouble thinking straight, though. So I don't know how much longer I'll be able to last before before I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna have to take a rest. And by rest, I mean wait, like take it, take a um, take a week break, basically end the stream. Uh, so let me let's think this through. 
if we move up okay so we take our number in and we want the first three we want to like just pretend already exist so that would be where i throw three zeros into here so let's reset this We start with five zeros in inside of this. This is, that's great. But the problem being that now we're starting with this 82. So we can hold 15 items in the stack memory. If do I wait for 15 items and then I start reversing them and sending them on down? That doesn't seem right. If I if I just move up down immediately. That's exactly the same problem as I'm getting 82 back out again. So I do need to wait. Do I want to initialize this with 15 zeros? And now, uh, but there's 77, let's see. What happened to our 11? I don't see it. Oh, here it is. Okay, so 11 is trying to get in here. And so then I want to pop off three of these and then get the 11. So then if I... If we add right, add right, add right... Um, move ACC left, move right down. So if I, if I do that, and then after this, so I don't want to set up with everything, do I? Uh, no, because I need to make sure that the 11 is the first one. It's almost like I want to wait five counts. It's like do null for five times. So if we start. So move five, ACC, sub one, jump if, uh, equal to. Okay, so if greater than zero, go back to start. Otherwise, we'll run. And our run is going to be move up, down. And then in that case, we do our five again. Um, that never works. Oh, because, yeah, I need to move the... Okay, so that's not happy. Um, but okay, what was... So you get those five. We waited... Three times? Okay, wait until the loop. I want to see what happens. Um, okay, so we have three in here, and then we have uh, zero starting to move down. So we got four of them in here. Oh, you need to jump back to run.
I got zero again, but okay, so I wanted I got let me start with three instead. Oh geez. Um I feel like I need to I need to sit down and like draw it out on paper. Like to figure out what the math should be. Because staring at this, I'm I'm not I'm not I don't think it's I don't think that's gonna work for me. So we have eleven coming in. I want to add it to the previous three behind me. That's zero. So I need some kind of luck. I need some kind of loop grabbing three non-entities out of there. So that would be like basically throwing throwing three three zeros into this and then adding them in. If I initialize, if I held the last three in here, okay, so what if I, what if I instead, uh, we're gonna just do move zero up, zero down, um, loop, just do nothing. That starts with those two. Then Okay, so we, we basically start with zeros in here. Now I want to take our first item here and we want to add the first item to this. And we can imagine we're storing the path, the previous three sums to this one. So I take move up, right, up, right, move left, ACC, add right, which removes it from the stack and adds it to here. I then move ACC right to store it again so I can add the, previ the, ne the previous one to it. I want to move ACC right, and then I want to move ACC down. Move up, down. No, let's move up, left. Right, down. If we do that, we quickly get out of, okay, so the first three are correct. And then after that, what are we off by? Oh, because I'm, I'm, I need to, am I off by 11? I got 172 and I was supposed to get 160. Oh yeah, I'm off by 11. Okay, so if I take the three, Can I store what this was three times ago? And then every three. I subtract by it. Well, that doesn't seem right. Okay, so I'm I'm just this is just a sum right now of everything and I want it to be a sum of just the just the last 3 on the fourth one
if I sum if I take these whatever is in here and I sum them together, so I add, I like add, add, add. Do I, do I want to keep two in here? Two things? That doesn't seem right, but wait. It's okay, so move left to ACC, add right. So add this back in, move ACC right. Do I want to subtract my, no, because the first three are correct. So that's actually correct until I get to the third one. Then I want to start subtracting the first one that I had. I guess this could also be part of the queue that we were thinking about. But I don't know if that makes sense either. I want... Let's see, for the stack, I get the most recent ones that I put in there. So if I put in three of the most recent ones... Starting, we start with zeros, so we have to put, we put two zeros plus the 11. So we, we throw in two zeros, we throw in the 11, and then we, we halt. We don't throw any more in. And then we, we sum those and get those out and we send them on its way. The position of these is a little bit awkward, isn't it? But then I don't want to lose them forever, because if I add them, I we lose them. So I really want to... I don't want to repeat them over again in there because then I never get them back out again. So we store in 0011 and throw that in there. And then add, 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 but they're gone now. And so I want to put in now 01178. But I can only remember one thing at a time with backup. So we're gonna have to do we're gonna have to do things with math. Math is not my strong suit. So zeros are obviously zero plus everything is zero. So that collapses to zero. If I throw eleven in there, and then we just get it right back out, and then I just store the add, that's fine. I need to every three. reduce, subtract by 11, and then store back in here. And then we we could do the same thing by the 5 one down. So if we do this is the 5, and this is the 3. So... Let's say we take in left, so move left, 
excuse me, ACC. We save it so we don't lose it. Maybe have a delay loop of three and five to be able to subtract from the totals. Um, I was thinking about that, but I don't know what to subtract from. Like, what would I subtract? And like, I need to have the delay in here because these things don't delay because they're independent of each other. We, we basically got async code running. So I can't just have it be delay over here. It has to be delay over here. Okay, so if I, we save, we save the 11. And so yeah, I think we have to do every three or five loops. I have to then subtract, like pull whatever we have in here, subtract it, and then resave it. So, okay, so we move 11 in here, we save it. I then want to add what we have over here. So add right which means we need, okay, so we have the initialize. Offset the reads by three and five zeros. Maybe we can have like three or five null operations that just sit there. Possibly that, that could maybe work. So I write, write, add write to my ACC and that becomes my 11 plus zero is 11, right? So then I want to we're done. So we just move you down, right? So then we move down, move ACC down. Move ACC right. So store store our add. So eleven goes back into here. So kind of want to not run any of that stuff. We start with you. So if we run you, uh, yeah. Okay. So eleven is going down now. Okay. Good. I guess we could just tap this. Okay, so the first the first ones are working. Now, I think this is where your suggestion, Albert, comes in, which is we have our initialization hat here, right? We have our loop, we have our infinite loop, but instead of being just an infinite loop, what if we then have like a begin and we move three, to ACC. I don't know how this is going to work. Move th three to our ACC. What if we don't have our init here? What if we do our init here? So we just move zero right. Jump back to start. Now we don't need an init here. I want to move three to here. Then we have our loop. We're going to sub one. How do I know what to sub this by? I need to store, I need to store every three 
one of these. Because like, okay, so we sub one, we move up into ACC. Um, oh, we probably need to save this. Um, okay, so move sub one. Yeah, we get the two, we get the first two. But where do I get those? Because I'll create a deadlock if this is moving over to the left constantly, unless I'm trying to like move this to nil. It's like, okay, so if I move up left, well, but this is the totals. This is the total answer right here, which is not right. Because I need the actual number. So I can... If we grab the actual number... Those delayed numbers are what you subtract from the totals. Which delayed numbers are we talking about? Because like the totals of them are not what we want to subtract by. I want to subtract by what's coming in. Right? Or we hold it, then wait three, and then subtract by that? Oh, OK. So we move. So we have our loop. We, okay, we have our init. And in init, we're going to move three to ACC. In our loop, we're going to move I guess we have a sleep, don't we? So we're going to sleep. We're going to sub one. We're going to jump if greater than zero back into sleep. Otherwise, we continue on. And then down here, we're going to now um, save. We then, well, okay, then we want to do the thing. We want to store the thing and then wait. No, not another one turn. We want to store the thing after one turn. Like almost I want to move up, ACC, save, move three to ACC, sleep three turns. We get to here, I want to then reduce. So I want to um, swap sub up. You don't want to delay in cycles. You want to offset a stream of numbers from another. But what numbers are those? I don't know what those are. Like I want to just wait eleven cycles, and then and then sub one by each cycle. I mean, I guess I could do that. But this is still going to be working uh, while well, that's happening. So this won't, this can't, this that this won't work at all.
Yeah, so I can't do it in here. It has to, it either has to be over here or like wherever I'm grabbing it and then putting it back in. We can only have one thing grabbing. Otherwise we have the shared memory problem, which is like the, the where all the bugs come from. You keep a running total of the inputs and you subtract the inputs from the totals. Well, but I don't know how to do that. That's the, that's the problem is like, how do I keep a running total of the inputs in the right order and then do that with the limitations of this? So, because it's a stack, it's the wrong order. Now I could convert the stack into a queue, but I have to like wait first three times and then go in and everything else is still running based upon that. So I'm not sure how to convert this properly to a, to a queue uh, in this context. Like I could just throw all these things in here, all the numbers in here, and then wait for three of them and then get them out and then send them down here and then that reverses them. But I don't think that's right either. Now, if I could remember this one and then three times later, I take it, I take this out and I subtract this number from it, that works. So this becomes just basically a clever storage from three times ago, which maybe I don't want to use the stack at all. I could just use one of these other things for that. And I just keep a, keep a state somewhere. And then do the, do the reverse, but for five numbers ago. No, but how how do I how do I keep it for five times? That doesn't make sense either. Uh, they'll be snoring now. Okay, so if I take if I take this number in and we just add them, add them, add them, and I, I can use this as like a I can use a state down here, let's say. Um so let's say we don't use our our, our stack. So we just do move up, down, so then I want to I want to continuously add these, but every three, I want to, no, after three, I want to then 
start storing the previous one here and then subtracting my accumulated total. So if I just do something like add up, move ACC down, After three of these, I start, oh, what if I, what if I set three, what if I sub whatever is over here to this? Okay, so we take you and we just, move you down so we keep you. For you, we have you. So you start with 11, and I just, I could add you up, but really probably what I want to do is I want to move up the ACC. Once I, once I have you in ACC, I can then move ACC left. I want to swap to my previous accumulator, or I just want to move this back down again. Okay, so then I just move ACC down. So that way I've split, I split the same one out twice. Now I'm probably going to add up, and then we want to sub left, move ACC down. For the first three, I want to just send zeros down. So we're just going to move zero down. And then we're going to run into our, our run loop. And here I want to now take from, take from right. So move right down, move up, right. And then we're gonna sub that. So if I run this, uh, oh, immediate deadlock, nice. Um, okay, so move ACC left, and then you're, you're not doing the thing, oh, because you're waiting. I need to, I'm moving zero down, but I'm also ignoring the first three. So move right to nil. So wait. I'm, I'm off by, okay, so I got 175. What, what happened here? So when I'm subbing left, um, you're right, I can't, I can't ignore them, can I? I wanna do this, oh, so hmm, I'm, off, I'm off by three now because I don't wanna ignore these. They are useful. Oh, is this where this, okay, so can I do this with the stack? We just start with three in here. You gave the code for the two delay cells a bit up? The oh out ACC read into ACC swap. Uh, I can't delay though because I need to read them, otherwise, it deadlocks.
So I, I have to read them in every single one. Now, what if I use the stack this way? What if I just throw three zeros into the stack? This saves the number and outputs it two numbers later. Oh, it reads always? When you say out ACC, do you really mean in ACC? It's like move, move right ACC. So if I move zero down, we move right to ACC. Uh, we move zero down, we swap. Oh, start by moving ACC down because it is a zero. Oh, I got you. Okay. So move ACC down. Move right to ACC. Swap. Move ACC down. Uh, swap. I think delay is the wrong word because we don't want delays at all. We just want to, so delay is not, not definitely not the right word here because we want to actually output multiple zeros at the same time. So like a delay would be more like a sleep thing where it doesn't put anything out at all. And that's, that's not right. I want to, um, I want to put out zeros until we get that. So if we okay, so we move the we move our ACC down, so the first thing so it has that. Then if we move right into ACC and swap it, then we can move ACC down again. That's two zeros, and then I swap that again, so we have the original one, and then we have to move ACC down, and that gets the eleven down, and then then from there on we start moving just right down and then we move upright uh we still get a deadlock though uh we're moving up to acc moving acc down move upright oh here's my deadlock moving acc down move upright add up Move ACC. Okay, so you're trying to move this left now. Um, the number does is an ACC backup, AC out. No need to output more than one number by loop. I guess like that's where I'm. I don't see that. But so are we? Are we basically saying we just? Move ACC down, move right, ACC, swap, move ACC down. Uh, our 11's in here, so I need to move right ACC, and then, no, that's not then one more swap. That's not going to work. So that moves up ACC. Oh, I keep on having, I keep on getting confused by this. So you're off by 11 to begin with. So we need a third zero. 
I'll put one number, read another, then save it and get the save number. So we need a third zero though. We got two zeros, but we need a third zero. Oh yeah, I did I did write this twice in a row, didn't I? Um but how do I get a third zero down? This gives me two zeros, and that's not that's not enough of a delay. Oh, then in the bottom cell, do the same code, but without the swap. Oh, yeah, we could do that. So if I move up to ACC, no, move a move ACC right, uh, move up to ACC. So if we do that, um, nope, I did that wrong. No, yeah, move up to ACC, move ACC to the right. Deadlock right away. Um, what happened? So you're trying to go, you're going down, you're trying to go left, you're trying to go around down, you're trying to go right. I can't move the contents of ACC because you're trying to add up while you're trying to move left. Move ACC down first. Yeah, we could do that. Oh, okay. There we go. That works. Um, so that's that's by three. And so now I need to do the same thing for the five, right? So thank you for that, Albert. That's super helpful. Um, now, this one delays by two. And I need to delay by four. And I only have, okay, so this is going to be fun. We're going to move up to ACC. Move ACC down, move ACC right. You should be able to get a three delay using the stacks. Um, how do I get a three delay using the stacks? I can move. Um... Uh, Juice, hello. How are you doing today? And uh, thanks for the raid. Uh, Zombie Killer Whale, Whale, hello. How are you? Uh, what, what were you working on today? Um, naturalist, quack, quack. Uh, Juice, how's everything going? And uh, what was your stream about? How's it going? Uh, Gorn, hello. How are you? Uh, we're here to spill some juice. Well, we're we're I'm doing good at spilling a lot of juice. Uh, you did some Clash Code on Coding Game. Nice. Excellent. Uh, how did you do? Did you uh, hopefully you won some? I always have a lot of trouble, but I do choose Rust in Clash of Code, which is not the best language for most of the games. Uh, it's pretty, it's pretty rough. Yeah, uh, you didn't. Hard to beat the, yeah, it, it can be, it can be pretty tough. Can be pretty tough, but hey, it's all about the fun, right? Uh, and you worked on your own version of coding game. Nice. Oh, making making those type of games is is fun. Uh, all right, so what we're working on today here is we're playing the game with code. Uh, so it's not exactly a coding game. This is a game that you can buy on Steam, and it's called TIS One Hundred. It's a Zactronics game. If you're familiar with some of their, you know, the, the other Zactronic style games, and it's um, this one we program in assembly, which is uh, fun. So our our goal for this one is uh, we're reading values in from here. Um, and uh, we need to get a sum of the previous three out. We just figured that out. And now we need to get the sum of the previous five. And we're going to use the stack. Yeah, fun, fun is, um, is, always, is always 
questionable in, in my in my brain. Uh, but I'm I, I guess that that's just how I am. I'm weird like that. Okay, so we got these. Now I want to delay. I want to delay by five. And so if I um, if I take our input that's coming into here, and we move it into the stack. Do I want to do the same thing that we're doing? Uh, actually, okay, hold on. I'm moving up here. If I move, if I move left down, so uh, move ACC down, move ACC right. So we see that number coming over here. I want to add up. I want to sub right, and I want to move ACC down. Now, I wonder if I can do the same trick over here and we just start throwing things into here down. So if I just do move ACC right, I need to move left uh, ACC, and then swap, and then we do that same thing again. So this needs to be AC down, AC uh, right. That's fine. This goes there. That gives us a delay of two. And then we do another one here. So move ACC down, move up to ACC swap and do that again uh we're using everything how far am i off i am off what are we off by um this is 11 off by eleven was off here okay so i'm i'm not delaying enough I think I'm delaying by three still, aren't I? So we start, we have 11 here. So that's the first one, 11, right? Feel like a total noob. Yeah, this this is a um, this is a pretty hardcore game. Okay, so we throw in eleven here, and we have two we have two zeros in our stack, plus another one over here. So um, okay, so we have eleven. Still have 11. Then we have 88 for our second one. We still have zero that we're sub subtracting by. 105 is correct. Okay, then we add up, which is going to be... Okay, so at 172. And we still need to have a, a zero. So we're, oh, we have a zero here and 11 there. Ooh, okay, so wait a second. I have the wrong, I have the wrong order of these. Let me, um, let's actually not pull anything down like this. And I want to see, I want to see that, that last stack get filled up. 
Yeah, okay, so we're off by one. So we got four of these in here, and we need five. Right? Like, we... No, four is fine. Four is fine to have that in there. Uh, but the problem is... Oh, the problem is that it's a stack, and I need this to be a queue. Maybe use the mood left the mo the the node left down node as the one offset node. We can do you mean this thing right here? Yeah, we could try that. So if I move um, ACC down, move up ACC. We're, I think we're going to get the same problem where we add up sub right, move ACC down. I think we're going to run into the same problem. Yeah. Uh, who would do programming as a game? Probably a programmer. Yeah, yeah, defi definitely. That is that that is accurate. Especially assembly. Keep the original line. Wait, which which original line? I don't remember what we had here. We just oh, I just had up down. What's the? I don't remember what original line from which node you're talking about. And I don't want the zero to be here. Use it to have the offset, but I, I don't know which node you're talking about. I don't know what you mean by no. I'm I, I'm confused. Good old times when assembly was to optimize phase. So we have we have five zeros in here. Um, the problem is it's a it's a it's a stack and not a queue, and so the new things come in before we're done reading through the old things, which is a problem. So this is. This at least gets us a little bit farther. Um, what did I do wrong? Move left to ACC. Oh, wait, why are you moving to the right here? I was moving, okay, moving left down. Okay. So that zero, we pulled it off. We pulled off the new things from the stack. So we need this to delay by one more. We need this to delay by one more. You use stacks as communication nodes, not for their stack properties. I'm not trying to use it as a stack property. I'm trying to just like send it in there to go past and through. So I don't actually want to stack stuff in here more than one deep, but I am because we're delaying. Unless, of course, I don't want to move ACC down, I just want to move up down. I don't know if that will help any, because I think it will be, because if we just move up down, we're going to only get three, or we're still going to be off by... We're still going to be off by one. Uh, yeah, now we're now we're off by two. But we are successfully only putting one in here. So I need to put in, I need to delay by more than that. How would I get a four offset though? 
that that I guess that's the question. Is like I'm not sure how to get the four offset. I can't offset here by one more. I could maybe offset here. So if we offset here and we say, move ACC down, move up ACC. I don't know if that's gonna, I don't think that's gonna work because then we're off by, we're off by everything. With the two swapping nodes, you get four. Um, I mean, you're talking about these two, yeah. But the problem is the stacks. Like I can't, I, I need to not, I need to not delay here because then the stacks never get it. Or I need to somehow pull multiple off from here. Do I do two? That doesn't make any sense either. Cause like the first time we get it, there's nothing in here. Yeah, the input is at the top. So we get the input here, and then I'm sort of sending it through the system here. No, this is left down. I can't delay here because it's a stack. So I have to delay somewhere else. I don't think I can delay here. And I don't, it's not, it, I don't know how to calculate how many there's going to be in a stack because sometimes there's one and sometimes there are two. Like to begin with, there's one. So we just step through here and we see, okay, there's one thing in there and I'm subtracting it out. And then one thing, subtracting it out. And then there's 11 too early and I need that to be a zero still. But if I do my delay here, The middle node is that is annoying should be moved left. Which uh, there's no middle node. So are you talking about this one or this one? Um, move left. Then the last node. Wait. Move left. Down. Move. Wait. What? Down move at ACC? I can't um, move from down. Down move right, what? I, I, I'm confused about the down. So you're, you're saying this one should be, okay, right middle nodes, this one, yeah. Uh, move left down. So this is like, um, should be move left down move ACC down. So wait, we just start with whatever we have here and then we move ACC down to which is gonna be another zero. Oh, it's gonna be another zero for the add. That doesn't seem right. Up, up down, right, left, yeah, yeah. We, uh, oh, I can't do any more scissors, okay. Ads are gonna start in around five minutes, unfortunately. Um, let's see. Another, okay, so move left down. 
So we move what's coming in from the left, which is the number, and then just shunt that on down. And then um, down, move right. What's the down, move right accumulator? I'm, I'm confused about that. Uh, so then I could, at that point, do move up, down, move left, down. I don't know if that makes any sense. Oh, then the last node gets both operands from the top. Oh, so we're not using this stack at all. Okay. So this is... Move ACC left, move app to ACC, uh, swap. This one would be move left down, move right down. Add right, um, sub up. Move it down. So if we do that, uh, we're still off by we're still off by one. So I'm I'm delaying by two here. I'm delaying by two here. I need to delay. Okay, so I need to do a delay here. So move left down. Move ACC down. Um, that's a one last zero. Down for the sub up. Uh, ooh. Move right to ACC. That might work. Um, let's see. I'm off by I'm off by one. I still need one more delay. Do I do I want to swap this? Uh we could try swapping. There, okay, there it is. That's what you're trying to tell me. Okay, got it. Right before the ad break too. Yes, this is finally working. Ugh. Thank you, Albert. I don't think I would have been able to solve this. I have, um, I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do the other ones. At least not today. Um, let's see. We're so, we're so close. But uh, thank you. Thank you. 